Sometimes I ponder, what does it take to have a great life? There are numerous patterns of emotions we as human beings have that can make us angry, sad, suicidal. But there are also other emotions that can make us passionate, great, full of beauty and love. I keep learning, expanding, looking for ways to grow and to understand how to overcome hard feelings and life's challenges. I learned to develop the awareness of emotional patterns and not to identify with them. not the procrastinator, neither the aggressor or the victim of my story. This is all a mind game. Have you noticed that some people have everything material? They are rich, they have success, but they are not happy inside. Others have nothing. They live poorly in tribes. And yet they seem so happy, dancing, fishing, playing. My greatest question is, what is fulfillment? What turns you on? Each one of us have a different answer because we are so unique. The human brain is not designed to make us happy. It's designed to make us survive. It does it by fear. What do I need to fight or flight from? It's always looking for what's wrong. It's a protection mechanism that we must learn to detach from, simply because unless there is an imminent danger, It's all fantasy of the mind. Frustration, anger, overwhelm, stress, worry, loneliness, depression, These feelings are not part of life, as you may believe. It's a mind game. If you don't manage it, you can have all the money in the world, everyone loving you, success and fame, but you will still be in pain. It's possible to free yourself from this suffering. Life is too short to suffer. We need to go to the heart. Perhaps you realize that happiness is really cheap. A simple walk can bring you happiness. Perhaps in your mind you think that This and that have to be a certain way for you to be happy. If 
only this person would treat me right, if only I got this promotion, if only everything would be perfect all the time. Notice how these problems need your attention to leave. And where you place your attention, energy flows. state of peace and joy. Problems do disappear when we are in love, don't they? Why? Because we change our mindset. Nothing really external changes, but we change our focus and nothing else matters. We drop control. We surrender to love. This is a beautiful way to live. We can stay in that state independently of projecting it in a partner. Dr. Bruce Lipton calls it the honeymoon effect and he wrote a book about it. Thoughts of vibration. And when we understand this, we will be gained true freedom. We learn to change expectations to appreciation. And this creates a sense of liberation. I am not going to suffer anymore. I am going to chill. Go of control. I don't need to think that I must solve everything. I am choosing being instead of doing. All it takes is a decision. or day, whatever you are, and come back again for another beautiful hiking video. Namaste.